It is hard to believe that we're coming to the end of our RE Congress 2024 journey. What an inspiring and uplifting weekend it has been for those who have participated in the arena and those of you who have faithfully followed along from homes in the U.S. and across the globe. Es difícil imaginar que hemos llegando Estamos llegando al fin de nuestra jornada del Congreso 2024. Qué fin de semana más inspirador y alentador para los que hemos participado de forma presencial y ustedes que nos han acompañado fielmente desde casa aquí en Estados Unidos o de los distintos rincones del mundo. After this Eucharistic liturgy concludes, let us go forth as ministers with the joy and power of the Holy Spirit to be agents of love to a world that needs our commitment and passionate embrace of the gospel more than ever. Let us remember that our God is great and that we can't hesitate to be bold and courageous in making a difference in the communities we love and serve. Después que nuestra Sagrada Eucaristía concluya, vayamos al mundo como ministros con el gozo y el poder del Espíritu Santo para ser agentes de la gracia de Dios a un mundo que necesita nuestro compromiso y el abrazo gozoso del Evangelio más que nunca. Recordemos que nuestro Dios es grande y que no debemos titubear en ser audaces y valientes en mejorar y reforzar las comunidades que amamos y a las que servimos. My name is Alex Venegas, and it has been my deep honor to journey with you through these past days of the Religious Education Congress as your MC. I hope you will take the inspiration of this weekend's activities and events and the message and recommit to live your life as missionary disciples. Please join us for next year's Congress, February 20th through the 23rd, 2025. Mi nombre es Alex Venegas y ha sido mi más grande honor haberlos acompañado estos últimos días del Congreso de Educación Religiosa como su conductor. Espero que tomen la inspiración de los eventos y el mensaje de este fin de semana para comprometerse plenamente a vivir sus vidas de discípulos misioneros. Vayamos pues y dejémonos amar. Por favor, acompáñenos el próximo año para el Congreso los días 20 al 23 de febrero de 2025. God bless you and take care. Cuídense y que Dios los bendiga. Good afternoon, and welcome to everyone joining us in this beautiful space, as well as those of you who are joining us via live stream. Kính chào toàn thể quý ông bà và anh chị em đang hiện diện tại đây, cũng như tất cả quý vị đang theo dõi qua mạng lưới điện toán toàn cầu. Buenas tardes 
Y bienvenidos a todos los que están aquí presentes en este bello lugar, al igual que a los que están uniéndose a nosotros a través de la transmisión virtual. This time we're going to show our response to the intercessions, and it goes like this. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try it together. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. And today's second reading will be proclaimed in Vietnamese. I'm going to teach you the response. Nuestra segunda lectura de hoy será proclamada en vietnamita. Mi compañera Linda nos va a enseñar la respuesta para la segunda lectura. It sounds like this. Ta ơn Chúa. Ta ơn Chúa. That was great. Nice job. Now everyone here knows how to speak Vietnamese. Thank you. Can we do it one more time? Ta ơn Chúa. Ta ơn Chúa. Wonderful, thank you. Silence before him, all the earth. God is in his holy temple, a holy silence. Listen, Tula. Be still and know that I am God. Today we are invited to release ourselves into the love of God. Throughout this Religious Education Congress, we have been invited to reunite ourselves with God and perhaps begin a new life. Listen, and when you hear the needs of your heart called out, Stand up if you are willing and able, or raise your hand or hands in the air, or lift up your face to declare your acceptance of God's undeniable love for you this day. Let the church say, Amen, Amen. who are poor in spirit, loved you are, who feel unnoticed as you walk through life, or who want to reach a greater goodness, you are greatly loved and receive the grace of heaven. Everyone who feels poor in spirit, 
or depressed, everyone who is in mourning or feels disconnected or lonely, stand up or raise your hands or lift your face as we all sing. Loved are you who hunger and thirst for justice, righteousness, and fair play. You will be filled. Loved are you who are pure of heart. Those who trust in the goodness of others, often to your own detriment, you will know the face of God's love during your life's journey. Everyone who trusts and believes in the goodness of others, often to your own detriment, stand up or raise your hands or lift your faces as we all sing Loved are you who are peacemakers by profession or who find yourselves binding broken trust back together in family or church or the work environment. You are the beloved children of God. Everyone who works as a community organizer, therapist, civil rights advocate, public health worker, social worker, immigration lawyer, cyber security specialist, teacher, peace officer, judge, or anyone who finds themselves binding broken trust back together in family or church or work environment, stand up or raise your hands or lift your faces as we all sing. are you who feel persecuted because of your godly lifestyle and commitment to the good? Persecuted because you won't go along with the crowd just for the sake of comfort? Heaven's embrace is certainly yours. Everyone who feels marginalized or derided because of your commitment to the good, persecuted because you won't go along with the crowd just for the sake of comfort. Stand up or raise your hands or lift your faces as we all sing. are 
are we all who are present in this Congress as sisters and brothers of a loving God who, in whom we rejoice and are glad. Our faith and our embrace of the love of God remind us that we share in a combined global humanity and creation, but we keep our focus on the love promised to us in heaven. With the promise of the divine love of God in heaven, let us all stand together and sing with one voice our gathering song.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Amen. So this afternoon we come to celebrate the, U the Holy Eucharist on this first Sunday of Lent. It is uh, always a moment of grace for all of us, well, especially because we are coming to the end of our Religious Education Congress 2014. Today, uh, we specially offer this Mass for Bishop Dave O'Connell, because today is his first anniversary of his passing. We remember his life, and we uh, continue to pray for the eternal repose of his soul. We know that he has received his eternal reward, but let's keep praying for him. So let's start a celebration of knowledge in our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am pleased in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, to the yearly observance of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Lectura del libro del Génesis. En aquellos días, dijo Dios a Noé y a sus hijos, Ahora establezco una alianza con ustedes y con sus descendientes, con todos los animales que los acompañaron, aves, ganados y fieras, con todos los que salieron del arca, con todo ser viviente sobre la tierra. Este es la alianza que establezco con ustedes. No volveré a exterminar la vida con el diluvio, ni habrá otro diluvio que destruya la tierra. Y añadió, esta es la señal de la alianza perpetua que yo establezco con ustedes y con todo ser viviente que esté con ustedes. Pondré mi arco iris en el cielo como señal de mi alianza con la tierra. Y cuando yo cubra de nubes la tierra, aparecerá el arco iris y me acordaré de mi alianza con ustedes y con todo ser viviente. No volverán las aguas del diluvio a destruir la vida. Palabra de Dios.
Lời Chúa trích trong thư thứ nhất của Thánh phê rô Tông Độ Anh chị em thân mến Chúa Kitô đã chết một lần cho tội lỗi chúng ta Người là đấng công chính Thay cho kẻ bắt công Để hiến dân chúng ta cho Thiên Chúa Thật ra Người đã chết theo thể xác, nhưng đã nhờ thần linh mà sống lại. Với thần linh, người đã đến sao giảng cho những tâm hồn bị giam cầm, cho những kẻ xưa kia có lúc không tin. Đang khi lòng nhân từ Chúa còn khoan giảng lúc ông Noe đóng tàu, Nhờ đó, một số ít người, gồm tất cả tám người, được cứu khỏi nước lụt. Và hiện giờ, phép thánh tẩy cũng cứu thoát anh chị em, cũng giống như thể thức ấy. Vì phép ấy không phải chỉ rửa sạch thân xác, mà đó là lời cầu xin Thiên Chúa ban cho một lương tâm ngay thẳng 
nhờ sự phục sinh của Chúa Giêsu Kitô, đấng ngự bên hữu Thiên Chúa, sau khi về trời đã bắt các thiên thần, các quyền thần và các đạo binh suy phục người. Đó là lời Chúa. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts and the angels minister to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Gospel of the Lord.
My brothers and sisters in Christ, I think once again we had an amazing week at Congress. I hope that you, uh, I'm sure that we all have been loved, uh, feel that we have been loved by God, especially these days, and that we are committed to share that beautiful love with the people in our parishes and in our ministries. So I hope that this has been a time for all of us to grow spiritually and to be refreshed and renewing our normal calling as disciples and apostles of our times. As we know, at the heart of our Christian vocation, we meet the divine person, Jesus of Nazareth. And our task as missionary disciples is to share the love that we have found in Jesus and to proclaim, as Jesus did, the beautiful gospel of God. I was thinking that that's a wonderful expression that we just heard in the passage from St. Mark. The gospel of God. The good news of God. As we hear on the first Sunday of Lent, St. Mark takes us back to the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. We hear how Jesus leaves the desert where he has been tempted by the devil and he comes into Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. And my brothers and sisters, what is this gospel, this good news? It is the good news that God exists, that God is alive. It is the good news that he is our creator and our father, and that he has come into our world as a creature, as one of us, to speak with us, to love us, and to be our friend and our savior. Espero que estos días les hayan ayudado a crecer espiritualmente y a renovar su vocación como discípulos y apóstoles de nuestro tiempo. Como sabemos, en el corazón de nuestra vocación cristiana se encuentra la, de, la divina persona de Jesús de Nazaret. Y nuestra misión como discípulos misioneros es compartir el amor que hemos encontrado en Jesús y proclamar como Jesús lo hizo el Evangelio de Dios, la buena nueva de Dios. Y esa buena nueva es la buena noticia de que Dios existe, de que es nuestro Creador y nuestro Padre, que vino al mundo con, como nosotros para estar con nosotros, para amarnos y ser nuestro amigo y nuestro Salvador. So let's listen to our Lord's proclamation again. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are still living in the time of fulfillment. We are living in the time when God promise of, promise of all is now being delivered. 
What begins in the preaching of Christ continues in the mission of the church, which is our mission. You and I, we are living in the stream of salvation history. We are playing our part in the unfolding of God's plan of love, which began before the foundation of the world. Our first reading today takes us back to the early history of the planet Earth, to the days of, after the great flood, when God established his covenant with, with the patriarch Noah and with every living creature, all the birds and the various tame and wild, wild animals. Then in the second reading, St. Peter tells us that the great flood was a sign that prefigured the sacrament of baptism. As Noah and his family were saved through the waters of the flood, so now we are saved by the waters of baptism, which opens up the doors to God's kingdom. God's kingdom now has come in Jesus Christ, on earth as it is in heaven. That's the message that Jesus brings the message that we continue to proclaim in our ministries. En el Evangelio de hoy, Jesús nos dice, se ha cumplido el tiempo y está cerca el reino de Dios. Conviértanse y crean en el Evangelio. Estamos viviendo en el tiempo cuando la promesa de Dios se sigue cumpliendo. Las palabras de Jesús se siguen cumpliendo en la misión de la Iglesia, que es nuestra misión. Y las lecturas en la misa de hoy nos recuerdan el inicio del reino de Dios para la humanidad y cómo se sigue realizando a través del tiempo. El reino de Dios ha venido en la persona de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Su mensaje se continúa proclamando en nuestros ministerios. But to enter into this kingdom, Jesus says that we must repent and believe in the gospel. One of the saints said that the kingdom's, kingdom's doors swing wide for every sinner who repents. That's true. Repentance is a gift of God's grace. But it is also an act of the heart, turning away from our sins and turning toward, towards the Father, who comes with arms open to embrace us in his mercy and forgiveness. In the presence of Jesus Christ, the Holy One of God, we can never remain as we are, as we have, as we have, as we have been. We must be changed, converted. And over, over in the gospel, we see how the encounter with Jesus changes people's lives. His words, born in their hearts. No one was left untouched by his love. We remember the woman of the world, Zacchaeus, the tax collector, Mary Magdalene, the fishermen by the sea, Andrew and Peter, James and John. Story after story, we see how they were changed, their hearts were changed, by the presence and love of Jesus. Por eso, para entrar en el reino de Dios, Jesús nos dice que tenemos que convertirnos y creer en el Evangelio. En la presencia de Jesús necesitamos cambiar y convertirnos, como lo hicieron la mujer samaritana, Saqueo, María Magdalena, los apóstoles, Andrés, Pedro, Santiago y Juan. But my brothers and sisters, the encounter with Jesus is only the beginning. Jesus loves us for who we are, and he meets us where he finds us. But he never leaves us there. Our Lord is always calling us to go higher. He's always calling us to follow him, to come and see, to put off our old self, our own nature, and become a new creation. Of course, this doesn't happen uh, all at once. 
Conversion to Christ is the work of a lifetime, as we all know. So this is what our life is meant for. We are here to be changed, to be transformed, to be converted. This is the beautiful promise of the gospel of God. That's what Pope Francis tells us in his Lenten message for this year. He says, Lent is a season of conversion, a time of freedom. La bella promesa del Evangelio de Dios. Y eso es lo que el Papa Francisco nos dice en su mensaje de cuaresma. La cuaresma es una temporada de conversión, un tiempo de libertad. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord, for the courage to continue our conversion to him, to continue our walk with him, and to deepen our conformity to his life. And let us, each one of us, today, renew our commitment to the noble vocation of being disciples and apostles, catechists and teachers in the church, let us ask for new creativity and courage in our service of the church's mission of bringing our world to Jesus. Pidamos a Dios nuestro Señor que nos dé la fortaleza para continuar nuestra conversión, que sigamos caminando con Él y que nos parezcamos más a Él, que renovemos nuestro compromiso de ser sus discípulos y sus apóstoles, catequistas y profesores en la iglesia que sigamos sirviendo la misión de la iglesia con creatividad, con entusiasmo el deseo de llevar a todo el mundo a Jesús May Holy Mary, the Mother of God be with us as we seek to draw to accompany our brothers and sisters in the conversion to Christ helping them to know the truth about God's beautiful plan for their lives that they also feel that God loves them in an extraordinary and personal way. Que María Santísima nos acompañe en nuestra continua conversión y en nuestra ilusión de compartir el bello plan de Dios con todos los que nos rodean, para que así ellos sientan la presencia y el amor de Dios en sus vidas como nosotros lo hemos sentido en estos días. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father of all.
sí. My brothers and sisters, we offer our prayers for the needs of our community and the world, trusting in your time and your ways. We lift off these petitions to you. Let us pray for all our church. This Lent, may our hearts be filled with the love of God. Que nos espere atender la mano con compasión y comprensión a todas las personas. Cho chúng con luôn mở rộng trái tim được yêu của Chúa, để chúng con cũng yêu tha nhân như Chúa. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Let us pray for our country's elected officials. May all in positions of authority lead from a place of love and compassion. Que todos Los servidores públicos trabajen por todos aquellos que se ven obligados a vivir en la imágenes de nuestra sociedad. Cho các nguyên thủ quốc gia thể hiện tình linh đới qua sự ân cần, rộng lượng và lòng trắc ẩn đến với tất cả con cái thiên chúa gần và xa. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Let us pray for all those who suffer. May immigrants, refugees, and all who are lonely experience God's love through the kindness and compassion of others, and the solace and comfort of community. Que los afligidos de y de consolados encuentren esperanza y renovación en el tierno abrazo de Dios. Cho những người nghèo đói và vô gia cư hay bệnh tật nhận được ơn lành Sự ủi an từ tình yêu thiên chúa. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Let us pray for those who have died. On this first anniversary of his passing, let us pray in gratitude for Bishop Dave O'Connell and for the example he showed us of God's love in words and actions. Oremos por los que han muerto a causa de la violencia o el hambre y por los que han muerto solos o sin duelo. Chúng ta cùng cầu nguyện cho những ai đã ra đi trước chúng ta, gia đình, tổ tiên, bạn bè và những người đã từng giúp đỡ chúng ta. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh God, we entrust all our intentions to your loving care, knowing that you are always with us and protecting us. Hear the praise of your people and guide our actions toward the building up of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
the altar is being prepared and the gifts presented by participants in the Partnership for Reentry Program, PrEP, and the Francisco Homes. PrEP serves inmates in all the California prisons, providing self-help, self-development courses to empower healing for participants to return to the community as faithful citizens. The Francisco Homes are a holistic transitional living program that serves former lifers who are returning home after being found suitable for parole into the community after a long prison term. Residential program services are provided in an atmosphere of healing and support needed by the returning person who is reintegrating back into the community. Son puro, limpia mi alma y purifica mi interior. Dame, Señor, un espíritu nuevo para dejar.
Seeking your mercy, help me leave the past behind. I'll carry my cross. I'll follow you gladly. Willing to lose all that I have to.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these sufferings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just our dear and our salvation always and everywhere. To you, thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, he consecrated through this fast the pattern of our Lenten observance. And by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthy the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them whole. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to the setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, have brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sending, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Ben Senor, O Ben Senor, Ben Senor Jesus. We proclaim your death. Yeah. 
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his from the resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose aid you will to reconcile us to yourself, and that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and especially for David, your son and bishop, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Take away the sins of the world, Cordero de
de Dios, Cordero de Dios, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed us call to the supper of the Lamb. By your dying and rising, you give eternal life. Feed us, heal us, Jesus here with us, we gather at your feet. Lamb of God, you take away our sins through your gift of living sacrifice. At your altar, we gather in your name. We are one in the life of Christ. Cristo pan de vida. Hijo de Dios, compartimos tu vida a través de Jesús. Jesus, bread of life, God's gift of love, by your dying and rising, you give eternal life. So The broken and the longing will be healed. Through your mercy, we come to receive the body and blood of Christ. Compartimos tu vida a través de Jesús. Jesus, bread of life, God's gift of love. I am dying and rising, you give eternal life. Sananos,
gift of love by your dying and rising you give eternal life sananos alimentanos compartimos en tu festín Jesucristo Esperanza para el mundo nos llama a vivir en comunión. Amor redentor que fluye de la cruz, fuente de la salvación. Cristo pan de vida. Compartimos tu vida a través de Jesús. Jesus, bread of life, God's gift of love, by your dying and rising, you give eternal life. So
you only knew if you could see just for one day the way that God sees you would you take heart could you be you are free to be just you, to come out of your hiding, beloved one, you are beautifully, fearfully, wonderfully made, love says the very Let us pray. Renew now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened. We pray, O Lord. 
that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. This weekend was such a blessing. Do you agree with that? I am Sister Rosalia. I am Sister Rosalia, Senior Director of the Office of Religious Education in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. And with deep gratitude, I thank all of you present here in person and the ones connecting virtually for joining us this year. And we hope and pray that you are living with a beautiful experience and the certainty that you are loved by God no matter what. And at the same time, that you have the strength to offer the same love to others. Pues con muchísima profundidad y de gratitud, les quiero agradecer su presencia eh, aquí en este Congreso de Educación Religiosa del 24 a los que están aquí presentes y a los que nos están viendo virtualmente. Y de verdad deseamos y, y, y oramos que se vayan con la certeza de que son amados, amadas, eh, profundamente con lo que somos y que tengan la fuerza para llevar ese mismo amor a nuestros lugares. Um, y también quiero agradecer a todas las personas que uh, escribieron sus experiencias en el, en el mosaico de amor. Muchas gracias, fueron preciosas. Thank you so much for all, all, all of you that were able to write your experiences in the mosaic of love. Thank you so much. So, let me tell you, I think we have some new people this year. So, I would like to ask if the ones that are joining us for first time, and as well, we have people coming from 18 countries. So if you travel to the US just to attend a Congress, please stand. Please stand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We hope to see you next year. So see you next year. Um, uh, I want to thank uh, Archbishop Gomez. Thank you, Archbishop, for your support. You continue support for ARI Congress and the work of the Office of Religious Education. I also want to thank our five regional bishops and the visiting bishops. It's beautiful to see our pastors here, no? <laughs> or shepherds here. Thank you, bishops. Thank you, thank you. And a special thank you to heaven to Bishop Dave. He loved this event. And he was present with us throughout the whole event. I want to thank as well Bishop Van and the Diocese of Orange that is hosting us for this event. And I want to thank my ORE staff. Thank you for your very hard and many hours of work, but especially for the love that you have for this event and for each of your ministries. Thank you, thank you. And um, as you can imagine, to put together this event is not just a question and the work of one person, no. We need the hands of so many people. We have more than 1,000 volunteers uh, supporting this beautiful event. And thank you for your generous heart and for the love that you have uh, a, for, for this event. So you're going to be seeing this on the screen all the, all the names because I always forget someone. So, <laughs> so you're going to see the names there. But um, I'm going to just mention the teams, no? I'm going to thank to the, all the committees. Thank you so much, production crews, media teams, uh, volunteers, musicians, 
cantors, what about the music? What's beautiful, no? <laughs> Cantors, sacristans, liturgies, movement, ministry, florists, the, flor the flowers are beautiful, no? The exhibitors, the speakers, priests hearing confessions. We had people waiting for three hours to hear confession, to, to receive the sacramental confession. And the priests present here, deacons and wives, thank you so much for your presence. And a special thank you for the deaf of heart of hearing interpreters. It's beautiful for your ministry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, to the many archdiocese and uh, departments that support this event, and as well our sponsors. Thank you so much. And I want to ask Chris uh, Da Silva. He was a composer. Please stand, Chris. <laughs> He was a composer of the theme song. Thank you, Chris, for the beautiful song. And of course, uh, his publisher, GIA. Thank you so much. And um, well, when we arrive here at the convention center, it is not like you see it, no? <laughs> There's a lot of art involved. And I wanna thank Val, Valerie. She created the logo and all this that you, the beauty that you see here, and if you had the opportunity to, to go to sacred space as well, it's just beautiful, no? The, the talents uh, and the, the helpers as well, no? The many people that were helping to create this beautiful artwork. And as well, Katie Trejo, she created the, um, the artwork for uh, Youth Day as well on Thursday. We had uh, our Youth Day on Thursday. And, um, and I wanna thank, um, the Youth Day coordinating team. And let me tell you that Youth Day is prepared by teens and for teens. You know, of course, we have, they have adults working with them, but it's beautiful. So thank you so much for the Youth Day coordinating team. And um, thank you, thank you. And lastly, I wanna express a a special thank you to the people that are supporting our endowment fund. So our endowment helps people doing ministry in faith formation, parish work, and, uh, and we help you, we help those ministers to achieve a master's program. So we offer scholarships. Thank you for your support, and I invite you to col continue collaborating if you can. Thanks to your help, we can continue forming our lay people. Thank you so much. And on behalf of the RE Congress team, we are looking forward to welcome you next year. So ready to write the dates? So take note of this. So in February 20 to 23rd, 2025, we hope to see you again here. Thank you. And, um, and now we have a little surprise for you. We have a little video for you. One of the great things for me about Congress is it's a melting pot of people that are coming, not just from the United States, but from all over the world. We have to be honest about what we're trusting in the Lord to do in a communal event like this. Whether you're 16 or you're 65, if you are in a space where Christ is exposed and is sacramentally being delivered to the hearts of people, he's going to do something. To be loved is the deepest affirmation of our true self. We need the ongoing certainty that we belong to a loving God who will never abandon us and will remind us always that we are guided by love at every step of the way. The 
The point for us to reflect on is that God takes our life very seriously. We are here on this earth because God wanted us to be born. God created us because he loves us and because he has something beautiful that he wants us to do with our life. You know, people from our university, even our institute, have been coming to Congress now for, I think, 20, maybe even 25 years. And I think it's so important for us because our mission as an institute and as a university is to serve the church. And for us to be able to sometimes teach and a lot of times learn from the people that are here is really a priceless treasure for us. What Jesus is saying is that if we want to find love, if we want to find happiness, then we have to follow him. The love of God is the force that transforms our lives. It opens our hearts and empowers us to love. Congress is like a quilt that's stitched together from the tapestry of people's lives. And you, you don't get that by just doing spiritual reading at home or even going to more of a local event, which might be smaller, but you get to experience the joy and the energy that comes when you connect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For, before the final blessing, we also have to thank Sister Rosalia Mesa for her leadership at the Office of Religious So please stand for the final blessing. I hope that also we uh, keep reflecting on the beautiful message of today's liturgy. We are the disciples and apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ at, the, uh, at our time. Uh, somos los discípulos y los apóstoles de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, and we are bringing the gospel of God to the people of our time, that they feel love and they recognize the joy of being, being uh, loved by God. Uh, le estamos trayendo ese mensaje tan bonito que somos el Evangelio de Dios y que Dios los ama infinitamente. The Lord be with you. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured. True Christ, our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and save our neighbors and our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
love beyond all boundaries. El amor abrazado. Oh, oh.